Okay, so we're here at uh, Jameson Field on, on Wairu Military Camp. Uh, we have deployed three NH-90s and, uh, and two Augusta 109 helicopters and uh, we're here to test our ability to deploy these helicopters, the new helicopters, into an austere environment. The introduction of the NH-90, we're following a, a crawl, walk, run philosophy, taking things step by step in a logical fashion. We completed phase one last year, which was to carry passengers and freight just uh, from A to B. So formation is something that we've, we've only started doing under phase two. So we did our first formation flights um, probably a couple of months ago. And uh, you know, in, in line with the crawl, walk, run philosophy, we started off with just formation at high level, and then we bring it down uh, flying in formation in the lower tactical environment, which involves staying in formation, but also avoiding the ground and ground threats at the same time, which adds to the complexity just a little bit. We've now moved on to looking at a more tactical, deployable capability. So we're focusing on uh, primarily how we would support the New Zealand Army in a, in a, in a low threat tactical environment. So we've been using uh, Queen Alexander mounted rifles to test out our procedures for the mechanics of getting combat troops on board the aircraft and off in a, in a relatively quick and efficient, tactically sound manner. We're looking at carrying 12 to 14 fully equipped troops at a time, whereas the, the Huey could only carry five. We can carry a platoon in, in a single formation, which gives a certain tactical advantage. Uh, we can go faster, go further, and with increased levels of safety compared to, to what the Huey could offer. Thank you.